few things in life compare to March Madness. All sports championships are inherently great, of course, the highest stakes, you know, but March Madness is just something more. The NCAA tournament is bigger, better, epic, and utterly gripping. A large cast of characters, not just Cinderella's this time of year, and it doesn't always end well for everyone involved. So what takes March Madness to that next level of sport? It's intense and immersive. Nothing begins better than March Madness. The first two days of the tournament are a barrage of basketball with multiple games happening all at once. The volume is almost overwhelming. On the first four days of the tournament, you are immersed in games, 16 games per day, in fact, many of them taking place simultaneously. The action, pace, and exposure of the first weekend is amazing and mesmerizing. The tourney is unmatched in sports when it comes to the element of surprise, too. Last-second shots happen on a regular basis. See Cardiac Kimba right here. It creates so many memorable moments, a handful of upsets, underdogs, and game-winning threes made at the buzzer. There are schools that you've never heard of before. Every game is a wild card, all connected through a bracket, a piece of pop art that gives every person a stake, a skin, we'll say, in the game. Every game takes on more meaning when you take sides, so in the tradition of surprises, here's our trivia tribute to the bracket and March Men is filled with Bronx and New York tidbits for your pleasure. A five on five, 10 questions for March Madness glory. Let's play. Question number one, the ACC tournament was held in New York City for the first time in which year? Is it A, 2015, B, 2017, or C, 2019? The answer here is B, 2017. The event was held in Brooklyn at the Barclays Center with Duke winning the conference tournament 73-69 against Notre Dame in the title game. Luke Kennard scored 16 points against the Irish and was named tournament most valuable player. Moving on to question number two, New York native Lou Alcindor, later known as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in the NBA, won how many Final Four Most Outstanding Player awards during the NCAA tournament? Was it one, two, or three? The answer here for question number two is C, three. The legendary Abdul-Jabbar is the only player in history to win the award three times. He did so in three consecutive seasons from 67 to 69. The Power Memorial and Rucker Park legend would finish his college career at UCLA with 2,325 points and 1,367 rebounds. A fun final bonus fact, he holds the record for the most career points in the NBA with a staggering 38,387. Praise the sky hook. Question number three, and what year did the Fordham Rams last make the NCAA tournament? Options here are 1992, 1996, or the year 2000. The answer is A, 1992, finishing with an 11-3 record in the Patriot League Fordham Rams last went dancing 30 years ago. Can you imagine that? That season they entered the big dance as the number 14 seed, losing 85-58 to Massachusetts in the opening round. Question four, Manhattan College last made the NCAA tourney in 2015. What was their tournament seeding that year? Options here are A, 14, B, 15, or C, 16. Answer is C, 16. Manhattan College was a 16 seed playing in a first four playing game against fellow 16 seed, the Hampton Pirates. The Riverdale squad fell 74-64 and was bounced from the big dance, unfortunately. Question number five here on this 10 questions for March Madness Glory. The first ever National Invitational Tournament was held right here in New York City in what year? A, 1938, B, 1947, or C, 1952?
The answer, 1938. The inaugural NIT was held at the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. The Temple University Owls are the first team to take home the crown in the NIT. Question six, the Big East Tournament is held every year at MSG. Which team has the most Big East turning victories of all time? Georgetown, Yukon, or Syracuse? The answer here is A, Georgetown. The Hoyas won the 1980 inaugural tournament under head coach John Thompson. They have a total of eight Big East tournament victories. Georgetown bookends the tourney, having won the most recent tournament last year in 2021. UConn is second with seven Big East tournament crowns. Pretty cool. Speaking of UConn, Bronx phenom Kimball Walker led the University of Connecticut to a Big East title. We mentioned that earlier. As well as an NCAA tournament championship, how many points did Kimba score in the NCAA title game? Was it A, 14, B, 16, or C, 18? The answer here is B, 16. In a low-scoring affair versus the Butler Bulldogs, Walker scored a game-high 16 points and route to the Big East Tournament Most Valuable Player. NCAA Final Four MVP and ultimately brought the NCAA title back to the University of Connecticut. Today, of course, he plays for the Knicks and he's an NBA veteran. Before his time leading St. John's, head coach Lou Carnesecca was a member of the United States Coast Guard. In which war did he serve? A, World War II, B, the Vietnam War, C, the Korean War. The answer here, World War II. Karnaseka served the Pacific Theater aboard the USS General H.B. Freeman, transporting over 3,000 troops from Calcutta to Okinawa. Simply amazing. Question 9. Who is the only Division I men's basketball head coach to lead three different teams to the Final Four? Was it John Calipari, Rick Pitino, or Bobby Knight? You're on the clock. Answer here is B, Rick Pitino, the New York City native, now the head coach in New Rochelle with Iona, has led Providence, Kentucky, and most recently Louisville to the Final Four. Could Iona be his next NCAA conquest? Time will certainly tell. Question 10, our final question, which player was the first to lead the NBA in both scoring and assists for a season? We have John Stockton, Magic Johnson, or Nate Archibald. Answer here is C, Nate Archibald, also known affectionately as Tiny. The Hall of Famer from the Bronx scored 2,719 points and dished 910 assists during the 72-73 season for the Kansas City Kings. Earlier this year, Archibald was named to the NBA 75th anniversary team, a much-deserved honor. So, how did you fare in our March Madness trivia game? Hopefully it was the stuff dreams are made of, the kind of performance worthy of dancing. That's your look at sports. I'm Bobby C.